Obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, is characterized by obsessions, which are intrusive and recurring thoughts that produce anxiety, and by compulsions, which are repetitive behaviors or actions that a person uses to relieve the anxiety created by an obsession. Compulsions may be obvious. These behaviors observed by others, or they may be internal or cognitive, which means they are thought-based and not visible to others. Together, obsessions and compulsions combine to create OCD. At its core, OCD is a disorder of doubt. People who suffer from OCD want to be certain that a dreaded outcome won't happen. So they seek reassurance, practice rituals, engage in superstitious actions, and may spend hours daily trying to feel better. OCD occurs in children and adults in very similar symptom clusters. Until people with OCD engage in effective treatment, they're often unable to control their anxiety-producing thoughts and their strong urge to engage in ritualized compulsive behaviors. Obsessions often occur in symptom clusters. For example, some people with OCD are particularly concerned that they are contaminated by germs or other impurities, that they may harm others because of this contamination or that they may suffer themselves. In addition to contamination, personal safety or harm to others, magical thinking, religious scrupulosity, and obsessions about being gay, also relatively common variants of OCD. Many people with OCD suffer from more than one symptom cluster. Some people with OCD have what's referred to as Tourettic OCD, which is a strong urge to complete a compulsion in order to just feel right again. Sometimes OCD has an abrupt onset during childhood following an acute strep infection. This is known as PANDAS, or Pediatric Autoimmune Neurological Disorder Associated with Strep. Although considered by some to be a controversial diagnosis, it merits exploring if symptoms occur suddenly in childhood following an infection. No matter which symptoms a person has, OCD creates havoc and great suffering. Imagine spending hours washing your hands daily so often that your hands are red, chapped, and so dry they bleed. Or imagine taking hours to get out of your house because you believe that you must leave only after you've had what you consider a good thought. If you think something is unacceptable, you have to start over by repeating the last behavior that was free of an OCD trigger or thought. And as you know, not wanting to think something just makes you think it which extends the time longer and longer. So you may even be housebound. OCD can be devastating, making it impossible to go to school, socialize, work, or have any moments free of stress. The good news is that it is treatable. Treatment for OCD centers on identifying the triggers creating obsessions and modifying behaviors used once a trigger occurs. The core focus is on changing a person's relationship with the trigger. Using exposure and response prevention, or ritual prevention, ERP, which is a specialized tool of cognitive behavioral therapy, treatment is very likely to be successful. Treatment for OCD requires action, commitment, and daily practice. It is possible to push back OCD and regain your life and freedom. At Neuroscience Incorporated, we use cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT to treat patients with OCD. We practice CBT because it works. Our direct experience with clients reflects the broader scientific perspective that CBT is a powerful approach. There are thousands of studies across a variety of disorders which unequivocally show that CBT is as effective as medication in treating OCD, anxiety, and depression and more effective than medication in keeping the benefits of treatment after treatment ends. CBT combines behavior therapy and cognitive therapy, two very effective forms of therapy to offer a wider range of tools and strategies for improved outcomes. Behavior therapy requires action, which is sometimes challenging, that weakens the association between a thought, situation, or trigger, and your automatic or learned or habitual response. By exposing yourself to your triggers in small steps, 
you alter the automatic response of your brain, particularly your limbic, limbic system, to the trigger. Giving yourself more freedom to practice and eventually change your experience completely. Behavior therapy teaches you to calm your mind and body, which allows clearer thought, better decisions, and improved well-being. Cognitive therapy addresses your patterns of thinking, your automatic and untruthful thoughts that contribute to upsetting emotions and distorted responses. These thoughts or distortions limit how flexible you can be in response to difficulties in your life. Cognitive therapy teaches you to recognize your pattern of illogical or distorted thoughts and to see how the thoughts can influence the way you see the world and your experiences. By combining cognitive and behavior therapy, CBT opens your life to a variety of new possibilities and gives you the freedom to act and decide without being limited by fears, worries, and distorted thoughts. To learn more about services provided by Neuroscience Incorporated, please visit us at www.neuroscience-inc.com.